All right, so a recap on yesterday's video, which was a track mode video. I'm gonna pull over and talk and do a little recap on track mode. Uh, the day before was a recap on, uh, the day before yesterday was a recap on sport mode. So what I'm gonna do is just bring, actually, you know what? Let me just keep going right here, just back in. So I had to go and adjust my PSIs. The weather here is all over the place. So it will make your tire pressure look low when it's really not. People in the comments over and over again, it gets annoying. Oh, put PSI, put, put air in your tire, put air in your tire. Like I, I know how to put air in my tire. I've been doing this for years. So um, people don't, just anything they can look for to, to basically just, just find something wrong. You know, it's just like, it's, it's, it's annoying. But let me just back up so we can talk about track mode. And all right, so let's talk about track mode. So this car will get you in trouble if you are not paying attention when you're in track mode. Just like sport, the traction is partially off. It's not as off as sport but it's pretty close so you got to remember in track mode the traction is partially off yes it is made to not really be completely off because on the track they don't want you to be sliding around as much whereas in sport you can slide around on the street or a track but uh, technically track is made for when you're on the actual track like an actual road course and they don't want you sliding around too much so that's why they don't have the traction fully or close to being off how sport is sport it will drift more a lot more track will not but yes you still can drift in track so you have to be careful but uh, that driving video yesterday was just to show you i didn't really get to show you as much it was pretty warm out same uh, temperature today 93 degrees and i wanted to get a little i wanted to get a little cooler before i do a better track mode video uh, i'll do another one coming up soon right now it's september but it's still fairly warm here in texas so i'm waiting for it to cool down a little bit but track it basically is a lot of fun you have to be very careful when you are um you know on this car you got to be very careful when you're on turns but it is made to kind of keep you more nailed down compared to sport so you just have to remember that and also when you're in track you will get the fastest shifting the hardest shifts and you will get that each gear is very violent so you got to remember you will be taking a beating when you're in track so you put the windows down on the highway and this car the wind will beat you like like it's never beat you before i've never been hit so hard by wind in a car with windows down than i was when i was in this car when i first got it and i put the windows down and got on the highway and it was just insane how abusive the wind is when you put the windows down in this car it is next level next level abusive Dirt. Yeah, so the car is fairly dirty right now. You probably can't really tell on camera, but she's dirty. And I wanted to come over here to one of my spots. Let me know what you want to see. I may be doing a street mode video coming up, which will be the third video, the last mode that you can get uh, to on these cars. Actually, you can do eco mode, but no one wants to see that. So I'll probably do a streets mode video next, just to kind of let you guys see. Uh, the difference in street mode, which is the mode I usually roll in. It's like more of a luxury feel. Everything's soft and smooth and not as harsh. So street mode will be basically next. If you guys want to see that, just let me know in the comment section down below if that's something you want to see. But, you know, you got to take care of these Hellcats. They are very rare at this point. Yes, there's still some on lots that can be sold. But 2023 was the last year. 2024 is almost over and we're going to 2025 and they just opened up the ordering books for these new EVs so it's real I think yesterday they uh, I think on the 16th September 16 2024 they put a video out saying that now the ordering books are now open so how do you guys feel about that I wanted to ask you guys how do you feel I was thinking about for this channel I've been saying it since 2022 if they made a four-door I would think about getting that EV should I get that four-door EV just to test it out 
for the channel i'll keep this this is not going anywhere but i don't want the two door that's out now i want the four door that's coming out next year in 2025 so if i feel i can get support and people will watch those videos just so you can know not to buy the car i'm getting that car to help you guys out so you won't buy it because this is what i do i'm a video creator on youtube and i buy cars this car i bought because i wanted it but of course i said let me just showcase it off on youtube since i had already had a had a channel but that car would be solely to put videos out on youtube just to show people should you buy it should you not i would just lease that car for two to three years and then get rid of it since they are pushing the whole lease thing um that's what dodge is doing i would not finance some bs or pay cash for some bs ev with a battery that depreciates and you and who knows what's going to happen to that battery in no time so you'd be out of your mind to finance or uh buy it buy a car like that in, you know cash unless you just really want that car so bad but i would never in my life do that i would never pay cash full cash for ev nor finance it would just be a lease where i can just get in it and get out of it when i'm ready two to three years and then that's it and if i wanted it for three years and if i felt like oh my god it's so amazing then i had the, the option to buy at least to buy but i would never never you'd be out of your mind to finance one of these new uh one of these new evs you'd be out of your mind so that's just my take on it but like i said this is basically you know paid off at this point and that would just be a second car on the channel to keep content out like i said if i feel like i'm wasting my time and people won't watch the videos i'm not even wasting my time because that's not a car that i really want i would just be doing it for youtube to see if you guys really want to watch the videos and just see oh shit let me just let me just let me just watch mbg so i can know what i would never do that's pretty much what i would do i would just do it just because I'm fortunate enough to do it and I would do it just to see if people watch the videos and just to kind of test the car out, see what it's like. But this would still be my main car on the channel and it would never go away. So let me know in the comments. I'll be asking here and there. You know, I'll be asking here and there. I've already kind of asked if I don't get feedback, if I don't get enough feedback back, <laughs> that means I'm not wasting my time because technically it's not a car I really, really, really want. I would just be getting it as a test car just to see uh, because you know, like I said, you know, I would like to drive and see how it looks in person and see how it really feels to drive an EV. I've never driven one before. And if it would be a great tool to help people out, like I've done for years, I would do it for you guys. But I need to know if I'll get the support. People are gonna watch these videos in the comments. If I don't get many comments, if I keep asking this question, I get no comments, nobody's saying anything, yeah, do it, don't, you know, don't do it, then I'm not doing it because I already know right there it's, it's a waste of my time. So let me know. I'll be doing this for you guys. So let me know if you want me to get that four door. It would be in 2025 unless they have big problems and I have to wait till 2026, but let me know. And that is going to do it for this upload. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you in the next one.